Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a Nike factory store deals video. And basically I went shopping around to the factory store and this is some of the stuff that I ended up seeing. I've done this series for quite a while now. So if you guys like the series, still uh, give the video a thumbs up, show your support. Uh, they have like the Watch the Throne uh, soldiers there. And they had a bunch of just random stuff at the store. And um, you guys already know I did pick up something, or if you didn't know, I did pick up something from the factory store. And I'll show you guys, uh, I guess, later in this video as you, we see it. But um, decent prices for some stuff. Some stuff, I was surprised to see these there. The Rubber City uh, LeBron 12 EXTs, uh, the Quick Strikes. And I don't know, I like those things except for the rubber nibs. Everything else on the shoe looks, looks dope, but the rubber nibs just killed it for me. Or the nubs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, pretty low price in these, Mellow 1.5s, as you can see there, uh, $65 um, on those. And the Flight um, Runner 2s, uh, $99, uh, or excuse me, $89 on that colorway. Kind of like that colorway as well. And then they had a black or like an, an, an infrared uh, colorway, which isn't bad either. For $65, it's a solid purchase. I actually don't have those trainers. Um, I wish I did, but I don't. But um, these things are the ones that I ended up picking up, the OG... Uh, one bread lows and the quality on these things are not great but at the end of the day like a hundred dollars instead of 130 and then i used a hundred dollar card like fifty dollars off a hundred dollar card so it was only fifty dollars for these ones for me so that was like a super win if you ask me for that price point uh internationalist is down below i don't know why that that one showed up early but uh the kobe 9 high uh, elites that they had there and you can see more uh, lebron soldiers for 70 bucks i mean if you want a hoop shoe uh, just a re regular hoop shoe, like $70 isn't a bad price, and it's a decent shoe for whatever it's worth. Double that, and you have a great hoop shoe, uh, the Kobe uh, 10s. I think those are great. I don't hoop in them, but if I did hoop in them uh, again, those would be the ones that I would be playing in. You can see they have the Kobe mentalities here, 80 bucks, Not a bad price. I mean, for Lunarlon especially, Lunarlon insoles. And then they have the KD uh, 7s and a bunch of different random colorways, and the price point of those are $1. Uh, 30 which is still a bit high considering uh, they're kind of out and this one's 120 for the weatherman one so that's not a bad price I guess 120 uh, some uh, some silver air max 90s of those are youth and uh, you could see the regular price was only $68 so not a huge savings these made their way back around last year I think these were like $40 or something like that from last season but the same exact boot uh, made its way back to uh, the factory stores full price I'm imagining these ones will go down at the end of the season as well uh, from last year. But if you bought them last year, you won. Anyway, they also had these uh, uh, Janowski Quick Strikes as well, the patent leather ones. I can't remember which ones these were uh, with the red bottoms. And then they had the little, like, record thing or something, on the, or the, the padlock, not record, the little padlock on the back. I can't remember which ones those were from, uh, but they had them there. It was kind of cool. Um, and some Air Max, um, as you can see here, the $80 price point on those. And the... Kayashi's prints for $60. I think these are the ones I was talking about in previous videos. They kind of look like Roshi's in a sense um, with some of the design on those things. But uh, then they had the Air Force One mid uh, and the kind of a bread or not bread. Did I say bread? Royal uh, colorway. And then they had these uh, vintage uh, premium blazer mids with kind of this weird little um, like pattern all over the upper. Kind of cool looking upper if you ask me for this kind of uh weathered look on those things son of flights they had as well and interesting looking sneakers uh here and then the zoom hyperfuses were 40 bucks dude these things retail at like 120 again if you just want to a shoot a hoop in like 40 dollars is like a win these ones uh the black colorway of those not bad um of course got to give the old the old, old folks some love the all black blackout triple black uh, monarchs and then the classic OG colorway of the Air Monarchs uh, can never go wrong with those. Uh, I saw a whole bunch of people wearing those today actually when I was out and about. Um, De La Soul Dunks on the back wall still a handful of pairs. I'm not surprised by that, sort of surprised by that, but it is what it is. And then these ones with the crazy look of these ones are fifty dollars. Uh, not a bad deal on those either. I, I still I'm like, eh, should I have gotten those? Should I have not gotten those? Fifty dollars is, isn't a bad price. I would have got those if I. I didn't have the Air Jordan, um, the Air Jordan ones that I ended up getting. Some Kobe 10 Elites on the back wall. Not too much of a discount on these, but picture on a 20% off uh, clearance back wall wouldn't be bad. And these Gatos are again $35, and again with a clearance price on those uh, with the 20% off is not a bad price point. 
Uh, Kobe or Kobe, LeBron 12 elites uh, on sale a little bit on the hash wall. And then just so you guys can see the hash wall. So I sift through a lot of this stuff as I'm doing the video, uh, just kind of looking through some random stuff. Did see these though, and these were my size. Didn't pick them up. Cork uh, Janowskis. I like the Janowskis. I want to like the Janowskis, but they just sit too low on my foot, unfortunately, just for me. They also still had some of these, the Dunk uh, Low Warmths. Uh, for for thirty dollars, like I already did a video, I picked those ones up for super cheap, uh, but uh, that's a pretty dang good price point if you ask me. And then the internationalist. Does anybody actually own a pair of internationalists? Leave a comment, and let me know uh, how they fit and how you like them, because I'm curious about those. Uh, you could see uh, the tongue on these uh, KD elites actually are kind of uh, fire. Diff I don't know, it's not. It's probably the better colorway of the KD elites uh, from those things. And these are some women's shoes right here. I forgot the name of these things. I probably already said them um, before. I just wasn't looking. And then they had the, some tempos. These things are kind of crazy looking too. Uh, these tempos with the, uh, they're all white. And then they had these spikes though on the tongue. And then they had this on the back, the FCRB, which I don't know what that is. Anyway, the last one is the Internationalist Tech Fleece ones. They had those there on the back wall as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace.